The Apostle Paul had been convicted and now was going to Rome to be tried. And he's on a ship with prisoners and a storm erupts. If you know the story in the book of Acts, it was two weeks long without even seeing the sun or the stars. Finally, the ship, well, it comes ashore. It gets washed ashore on the island of Malta. It breaks apart. They all swim and they all survive. And Paul begins to gather wood for a fire. And I want you to listen to what the scripture says. When Paul had gathered a bundle of sticks and laid them on the fire, a viper came out because of the heat and it attached itself, it fastened itself to Paul's hands with its fangs. And when the natives saw this hanging from his hand, here's what they said. These are the locals standing around. They said, no doubt this man's a murderer even though he escaped the sea, justice has not allowed him to live. But the scripture goes on to say this about Paul. He shook off the serpent into the fire and he suffered no harm. They were expecting him, as scripture goes on to say, to swell up and suddenly die because they knew that snake. They lived there. They had seen it happen to other people, but it didn't happen to Paul. Now I want you to listen. The serpent strikes, sometimes you, sometimes me, sometimes other believers. Paul has a great illustration for us here. He shakes it off and he continues to go on serving and ministering. In fact, he ends up leading a lot of those people on the island to the Lord. There, there's two things you kind of gather from this story. One, yes, the serpent strikes. Two, people are always watching. They say, oh, he's a murderer. He's an unjust man. He's probably getting what he deserves. And people can think all kinds of things about you. So when the serpent strikes, there's a great example here by Paul. You can shake it off because people are watching and it's an open door for you to minister.